Hey everyone, today is a fun video exploring a new brand to me and this particular set which is the Van Gogh Pocket Box Vibrant Color Set. You can see on the screen the colors that come in the set and later in the video we will be looking at the box and swatching everything and I will share all my thoughts about that. But I wanted also to take this opportunity to talk in general a little bit about Van Gogh and also Rembrandt. Both of these lines are made by Royal Talents, which is a Dutch company with a long history and nice products. I have tried their Amsterdam brand, which has acrylic paints and some of their products are very widely available here in Austria and online in the European stores. I will link you to everything that I can find, all the information, the company website, the brochure, brochures, and you can take a look uh, you, for yourselves. What I did see with both of brands, Van Gogh and Rembrandt, that they really like to assemble sets. So I'm showing you a few of the options just so you know that they have a wide variety and you can kind of pick and choose and go for something that really fits you. In general, I prefer these metal tins because you can change brands and size of pans, whereas the sets that come in plastic boxes tend to be more problematic and usually fit just that brand's pan size. So that makes them a lot less versatile. Now, uh, I'm just showing you what you can find on the Van Gogh brochure. You can download it. And I actually picked one from my local art store. They actually had a stand with the pocket box sets, which I'll talk about in a minute and the pans and tubes. So the Van Gogh range, besides all these sets, it comes in 72 colors. They recently expanded their shade and those come in half pans and 10 milliliter tubes. Now, it doesn't say anywhere as far as I could see, but with the price and the color range, it seems like Van Gogh is basically their student range, Royal Talent student range, and then Rembrandt is their more classical artist grade um, selection. Now, let's get into the pocket boxes for a little bit. They offer these really cute sets which come in these cute plastic boxes. I do like the box. Again, the limitation is that it fits only the Van Gogh pans kind of snugly and elegantly. And they have these different color schemes, which is really fun if you want to test out new colors, but you don't want to like get into selecting from a range of 70 colors. Now, I do want to mention this particular box that I found. Again, it's a pocket box. This one actually has 15 spots for paints as opposed to 12 with the other ones, which I think is a much better use of the space. The color range is a little bit, you know, kind of regular and boring, and that's why I didn't pick up this one. But if you're just starting out and you prefer to have a plastic box or the price is right for you, you saw this is on Amazon Germany, super affordable, 13 euros. Uh, this is a good option. So if you really want to just test out a basic set, very affordable, I would go with this one. The colors here are not my favorite. It has a white, which I never use, but the box is arranged in a better configuration. Another fun set that I saw, if you want to kind of test out the brand and get a huge variety of colors, this is their 48 set in a metal tin. So you can use the tin then for your other paints. You can rearrange this, but this has a selection of both kind of regular paints. I'm doing air quotes here as well as some of their other types of watercolors. So they have some metallic ones, their dusk colors, which is a mixture of kind of regular pink or violet with a granulating black. So pretty fun to play with. And 
the price is very competitive for this size and this quality of paint. Now, uh, disclaimer, I haven't tried all of the range, but I have played around with two of their sets, so that's over 20 paints, and I think this is a really solid choice. If you're in Europe, this is really affordable, vegan, and I really love that they also offer the paint in tubes. I recently tried Schmincke's student range, and while the paint is beautiful in my opinion, it's very hard to find, and it doesn't come in tubes, So, and it's a lot more expensive than this. Anywho, Rembrandt is Royal Talents' kind of classical artist range. It comes in 120 colors now. They recently expanded their range. It's a very traditional kind of color range, very similar to what you would find from Schmincke or, you know, other similar brands. And I definitely think I will try these when I run out of some paints, if that ever happens, <laughs> because again, this is European, so more or less local to me. It's also vegan, with the exception of one color in their range, which is ivory black. Now, they also offer these specialty colors, and I'm usually not very drawn to them, but I did want to mention these because I haven't really seen anything like this. They call these chameleon colors, and they also have these spark colors. I will link you to everything, but I had to mention these because I thought they would be so much fun for nature painters, you know, people that enjoy painting birds or animals. I think chameleons. <laughs> I think this would be really fun. Again, same with Van Gogh. They seem to love coming out with different sets. And I see that in the Rembrandt range, they only do metal cases and these, you know, more gift type of wooden boxes. Uh, I do think some of their sets are really interesting. They have a granulating set and portrait set. So definitely an easy way to dip your toe in this brand's water or just try different kinds of paint. They, they put some thought behind their different configur configurations, which I appreciate. And I might uh, pick up one of these sets in the future to test out the brand and see how I like it. Let us know in the comments if you have tried it and what you think of it. I think I would for sure love to know and also the other viewers. These are a lot more expensive than the Van Gogh and kind of comparable to other European brands. So let's move on to today's review. Let's take a closer look. So this is how the package looks. I have to say quite inviting. Here we have the colors doesn't say the names just the numbers and a little photo of the palette it says vibrant colors brilliant paint with high tinting strength so already we know these are staining uh, these are made in the netherlands and i think that's all the information we're gonna get from the box so let's open it. It's a very, um, kind of give you a, a size <laughs> reference. So this is my 24 palettes, which actually fit 26, but this is like a regular tin. Let's grab a smaller tin so you can have an idea. So this one is a little bit bigger. It's also plastic. And I can't open it. <laughs> it's not a good sign. Okay, I'm stupid. So, this looks very pretty, right? <laughs> Could have called this Irit palette. So, we have a teeny tiny palette, uh, brush, I mean. And this is around number six, they say. And this actually has kind of a tip, which I guess you can scrape, and also I'm gonna say help you pop this thing. There's a sticker here. Who put a sticker in my palette? Have you no shame? Okay, so you can kind of click it into... <laughs> so 
sorry if this is a bit not very elegant but this is real life so use the brush to pop it out and I really like uh, having this I think uh, it's a really nice setup for a little uh, palette so as you can see the colors are very bright and I think we should open them up and see what we have um, I can already tell that this for me is you know a very versatile well not just for me but a very versatile palette and let's just see so first of all you can pop these out also with the brush and they pop out really nicely I like this elegant snug fit and what I want to know of course is if other half pants also fit here so I have this one this is from Daniel Smith mm, kind of I mean it will fit but yeah it's not as a, it's not such a nice snug fit these are I think just the ones I get from Jackson's again so I think I think that's the that's that has been my experience with other brands as well that sell their palettes in plastic um, that sell their paints in plastic palettes they tend to be kind of brand specific and that's always the advantage for me with the metal tins um, whether you buy a set or just the empty tin and fill it up that it will fit any brand and especially the smaller ones, the ones that are meant for 12 half pans, they you can always fit more in the row. Usually I can fit seven here, seven here, and then six also in the middle. So that's always my issue with uh, plastic palettes. However, if you are loyal to a brand, then you know that's not really an issue. Or if you like having a palette that has just the one brand in it so the these are wrapped nicely and we get here uh, hope you can see all the details so we have the I guess these plus are light fast ratings okay they have also in this range they have some of the dusk colors which we will be talking about those probably more in the pink palette video they have metallic ones and interference I have to say I'm not a huge fan of all these specialty colors uh, but that's just me if you are interested then they also offer that so explanation of the symbols we have three pluses at least 100 years light fast under museum conditions and then two pluses 25 to 100 years light fast under museum conditions and then we have the transparency markings and with this set I think okay it doesn't say on the package how transparent they are but looking at this they are all transparent and two of them are semi transparent yeah, which I also tend to like. And G says if the color granulates, and I don't think we have any of those here. Name of the shade, this one is permanent le lemon yellow, and the pigment is PY184. So you need a microscope, but you can get the information. And now it's time for some swatching, of course. So I thought it would be fun just to paint a little sketch of this box. And I started with some pencil and at the end I'll add some pen work. The colors are quite vibrant. They are easy to work with. They are very creamy, so you might have to mix them with a little bit of water to get uh, a thinner or more transparent application. The color choice for this set is not perfect in my humble opinion and I did do some rearranging with a couple of other 
pens that I bought. What I do like about it is how affordable it is and I do think it's a really great option if you're on the market for a fun little set. Uh, for me, I removed one of the greens. I think three greens is overkill. And I also removed the lemon yellow and the orange. The pink, I really wish they had gone with crinacodone rose as opposed to rose. This color is lovely on its own, but it has a little bit of an opacity to it. It says that it's single pigment but from what I understand you don't have to write certain fillers as pigments and I feel you can see also in the pen that this color looks a little bit opaque. Again I do like it as it is but for mixtures I really prefer something like quinacridone rose and I did add quinacridone rose to this palette. I also wish they had made all of their pocket boxes with 15 slots like they did with just one particular set that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. It's such a waste of space, especially with something like a pocket box. You want it to be as compact and yet to contain as much paint. So I really don't get it. I mean, okay, you have your brand name written there in big letters, but why? Why? You could have given us three more spaces for three more paints, even if they were empty and the set only came with 12 paints. That would have been so much nicer. So Van Gogh, if you're watching, please take this under consideration. I really like this whole line and I really like um, these sets and different color schemes. As a watercolor fan and collector, I, I really appreciate when companies do these and not just the traditional 12, 24, 36, 48 sets. Um, this is really fun and you can kind of, if you're on a budget, you know, you can pick up a set whenever your budget allows for it. So yeah, that's that's a bit of a miss here for me. I want to talk for a minute about one of the colors in the set, which is the Cerulean Blue Thalo. It's the blue that you see on the bottom row, second spot from the right side. And this is also something that some brands do, especially to get kind of cheaper, more affordable, let's say it nicely, paints, which is to mix cheaper pigments to imitate more expensive paints. Sometimes it works, sometimes not so much. In this particular case, this is phthalo blue mixed with white, and I do like what they came up with. Um, it's not exactly like Cerulean, and personally, I love the Daniel Smith version of Cerulean Blue Chromium, but this is like one and a half euro for a pan or like two and a half euros for a tube. So this is very hard to compete with. And this really makes this whole range and these sets one of my top choices for affordable student grade. And I say student here with a lot of respect for students because I find some of the shades here can compete with my artist paints head to head. To sum it up, kind of, if you are in Europe and you want something local, if you are vegan, minus their ivory black paint, if you want to try different color combos, if you are on a budget, this is a really great option. And I'm really trying to think of comparable options that have all those uh, advantages that I mentioned for us here in Europe. This has to be really at the top of my list. So well done to Royal Talents. It really seems like with both of their watercolor ranges, they have stepped up their game and expanded their color range and improved their formula. I will definitely be picking up 
some more of these Van Gogh just because of the price. So colors that I use a lot of like quinacridone rose, like ultramarine blue, I would definitely consider picking up these tubes to use in some of my sets, especially for those that I use with, you know, sketching and art journaling. I don't feel the need to have completely artist grade, top of the line, Daniel Smith type of paints for every purpose. I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.